Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Cancer. Hello Cancer and welcome to your September of 2014 Taroscope and Mini Astrology Reading. Let's start shuffling the cards and see what's in store for you. Okay, here's some stuff up here. Empress and some Empress and the Emperor together. Surrounded by some pentacle cards, so let's see what that's about. Usually it's about money. Let's have a look. Okay. Alright. Well, I like the Empress and the Emperor being there. So that's always a good space. Uh, Empress is, uh, well, it's good health. It's one of the things that the Empress represents. It's good health. It can be a pregnancy. It can have to do with uh, mother, mothers, uh, feminine. It's a feminine uh, energy. It's a feminine archetype. And uh, so the Empress is there. So she's, uh, it's, it's a time of harvest. It's a time of fruitfulness. And we are. The fall is the time of the harvest, right? Yeah, so we've got the uh, three of the Empress and the three of Pentacles. So we've got threes here. Three times three is nine. Let's see the wish card here. We've got sixes. Three, six, and nine. Uh, so yeah, the, I don't know. That, that, that could have some relevance for you, those numbers, three, six, and nine. Uh, but back up to here. So this is something that you've been working on for a while. You've been an apprenticeship, too. You've been working on it, uh, perfecting your skills, polishing your skills. And... Um, Maybe you haven't got paid for it in the past, or maybe you got paid what you deserve, or you know, you've, you've not got paid a lot for it if you've got paid at all. Uh, but now it's time to like showcase it all and let it. Let's bring it out. And you got this, um, the Empress and the Emperor on either side, so it's supporting your endeavors. You know, it's supporting you. And the Emperor is always somebody who's in a position of authority that can help you out here. And this time, this Aries the Ram uh, thing showed up on there. It doesn't always, uh, but that Ram is standing out to me in the background there, the big horned ram. So yeah, maybe this guy's an Aries, or maybe this is something that happened, started back in the time of Aries, which would have been April. Uh, but maybe uh, that's just something else. Maybe he drives a, uh, isn't there a Dodge Ram or a truck or something? You know, it could just be a, a, a number of key things. Uh, the big horned goats. goats. Uh, maybe he, you know, this has to do with a place where those are prevalent, where you still see those animals around. I don't know. But that's what it was really standing out to me. Um, it's it's definitely time to take charge and go for it. You know, the magician is here. That's like, slash, let's do it. Let's forge ahead. Let's make it happen. And like the strength card, the magician has the infinity symbol above his head. So it's infinite. It's infinite how far you can go with this. The other thing to note on the emperor, I mean, excuse me, the magician card, is that he has all four elements there. He's got the cups, the pentacles, the sword, and the rod on his desk in front of him, or his little table. That says you have all the forces of the universe are with you. You have everything you need to make this a grand success. And it points up right here after these cards again. Always when there's a pointing card, I want to look at what it's pointing at. So take action towards this. Um, this could be something having to do with your mother or having to do with a health issue, but I really feel like it's just showing up as a, a thing of abundance, especially because the wish card is right here. And the wish card is always, again, a great card of abundance. It's like your wish is coming true. That's the simple meaning. But note that the, he wears fine clothing. He has jewelry. You know, So he's, got, he's well fed. He's on the plumper side, which in the olden times, this was a symbol of having more than enough, as, as the Empress is. She's on the heavy side, too. She's probably pregnant, too. <laughs> but that's also teeming with abundance, okay? And not only does he have enough for now, he's got storage for the winter. So, you know, it's like plentifulness. It's time to take action towards those things. Um, there has been a lot of upset and, and uh, misery maybe surrounding it or some difficulties to getting things going. You know, maybe the funding wasn't there. So say this is an independent project, which often the uh, magician can represent. 
Maybe the funding has not been there. Or, you know, the funding fell through. Or it feels like there's been some lack of financial backing or financial money coming in, whatever the case may be. Maybe if it's just like a regular kind of a job that you didn't, weren't gonna, um, you didn't get your raise. This could definitely be you didn't get your raise. And maybe you have been going to school on the side, and now it's just like, you know, I've got my degree or I've got my certificate or certification, and I'm going to break out and away from you. But often, too, the empress, I mean, the magician, a lot of these cards are... Uh, can represent kind of breaking out on your own or doing your own thing or having your own business. So that could that could definitely be part of it. It's definitely about breaking away from the pack. You know, so maybe this has been the status quo for some time or this is where a lot of your friends or people you know are kind of in this uh, vibration of this energy. And you've got to be true to yourself. That's another thing of the Empress. He's number one. He's himself. He's me. Me, myself, and I. He also has some element of Aries because of it's the first sign of the Zodiac. I often uh, think of number one, the magician, as you know, sort of corresponding with that. So there could be something having to do with Aries, or maybe you're starting on it now, and then by the time we get to April of next year, things are really going to be cooking along. Or maybe it is a specific person who is an Aries that we're dealing with here. All these cards down here are talking about devil in reverse, freedom from bondage. So you've been held down or held back for a long time, released. And this, this new outlook or this new education, this new way of doing things, has brought is bringing this in line for you. Uh, four of Swords, you know, you've been kind of out of the mix. Four of Swords is I'm out of the mix, I'm healing, I'm waiting. It's definitely a card of being waiting, of delay, it stalls. Usually a period of four, four months, four years, um, four days, four weeks, whatever. Um, back into action again. We're not healing anymore. We're back into action again. And it's leading to the Magician, which is another indication, taking action, moving forward. Leading to the Empress, which is fruitfulness, abundance, the harvest. And Seven of Swords in reverse is down here, too. Something's being taken, uh, given back to you that was taken away. And usually it's not an object. You know, it, it's, it's usually not um, somebody borrowed your lawnmower and you're just getting it back. Usually it's more um, dignity, pride, self-esteem, these kind of things. You're feeling better about yourself. You're feeling, you're being true to yourself is going to bring about all of this stuff. So the key message is be true to yourself, forge ahead, go forward, learn what you need to learn in order to be successful, uh, follow the path that's meant for you, and um, this phrase is coming to mind, uh, be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. And that's what I'm feeling with the emperor and the empress uh, being up there. And so let's whip out this chart for you and let's have a look at what's happening there with the astrology for you guys. With Cancer on the Ascendant, we're going to have a, the first thing that's occurring is we're going to have a full moon in uh, Pisces, which is going to be in your ninth house of uh, foreign travel and education. So many of you may have been on a course of study here, and that you're finally, um, you've got the credentials now, or you're completing this course of study. And it could be official, maybe we're going to some school and you are going to get a diploma, degree, or, you know, a certification, but maybe it's just something that you've endeavored on your own, or you've mastered on your own, and it's time, you know, full moon, it's time to bring it out and show it now. Okay, then the second thing that's happening on the 24th is we're going to have a new moon in your fourth house of home and family. Sometimes this is a, a, a fourth house things action. This could be a new move, uh, a move to a new home, excuse me, or a, a new place. Um, new changes in your home, uh, a new beginning. Sometimes, you know, it can be too just with the people that you are, are associate every day. So if you want to implement a new way of communicating or um, doing things together, some kind of new thing that we're going to implement around the home, or maybe a new cleaning regimen or chores, it could be, but probably more uh, something on the lighter note or sort of on a lighter flavor, a lighter uh, path of something with Libra, more to bring happiness and joy and balance into your home, okay? All right, let's have a look at these, uh, your animal totem for September uh, Cancers. I'm going to shuffle up for you, and oh, there it goes, flipped out. What do we got here? Oh, the badger. I know badgers are really fierce, uh, but we're gonna. I'm gonna do a little research on my own, and of course, if you want, you can uh, do so as well. And I'll be right back with uh, an interpretation. So stay tuned. Badgers have loose skin, which prevents other animals from biting them. This symbolizes not letting others biting affect you and keeping things loose. Badgers can dig into the earth and live among the earth spirits. They can dig beneath the surface to get to the root of the matter. If badger has shown up, you may benefit from things that are grown underground, such as roots, vegetables, herbs, rocks, and crystals may have a great benefit to you. 
Okay, before we go, I want to remind you all that I do have a book out called Tarot in the Modern World. And if you enjoy these readings that I do on YouTube here, it's chances are you're going to enjoy the book. It's easy to understand terms. I give upright and reverse position. And then I also give like a little bit of an interpretation of how to relate it to other cards, as I do when you watch the videos here, as I relate all the cards together, because I feel like that's really important. And I give like a little poem um, to, you know, kind of help you remember it. A new beginning is in store for you. It may involve love or creativity, too, for the Ace of Cups. So it's a nice little book, uh, easy to understand. It's available on Amazon, and you can find the link below. I also want to remind you that I have on um, other channels. If you look at my main page, The Rock and Roll Prophetess, I have a couple of other channels. One is music as a keyboard player, and uh, I also write music, so if anybody wants to record any of my material, I would love to hear somebody else's take on it. And secondly, I have my children's channel, uh, The Learning Songs for Kids, which features uh, Learning Songs for Kids, it just pretty much says it all, um, but also The Green Glen Gang, which is something I've been trying to get going for a while, and I've been doing it lately in 3D as opposed to 2D, and I feel like that's the way that they're meant to appear on the screen or wherever they're going to end up being. So if you're interested in learning more about that or helping me get it out there, I'd love to hear from you on that. Or if you just have little kids, uh, you know, check out the learning songs that are on the on the page on the channel. I want to thank you all for donating because your little donations, big or small, it all goes together and it really helps me to uh, pay for and continue to do these free videos every month. Also, I want to thank you all for liking and sharing and commenting uh, my videos and uh, ordering readings and ordering charts. And also, uh, the Tapestry of Life mandalas, I wanted to mention. I, al I don't always mention these. But I, this is something that I do. It's spiritual art based on your chart, just like this wheel here that we have. Everybody has an astrology chart with aspects in it. And that's how I created uh, the Tapestry of Life mandalas. As I said before, it really is a labor of love. It takes many hours to complete it, but it's such an intense, cool, beautiful thing when it's all said and done. And um, I pick up a lot of psychic stuff on you as I'm creating it. And people have told me time and time again that as they gaze on it or look at it, you know, they start getting stuff too because the swirly designs really lend itself to letting the imagination flow, just like sometimes in the tarot cards where there's like some swirly designs. You know, it might take you away or show. you'll see other pictures or other visions within it. So I want to thank you all for ordering the, the mandalas and liking, commenting, ordering readings. <laughs> um, and I'll, I want you to remember that you are love and beauty incarnate. And I'll speak to you soon.